السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ ऑलराइट हाउ आर यू गाइस वी आर फाइन हाउ आर यू अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आई एम आल्सो फाइन माशाल्लाह दैट्स ग्रेट सो कैसे चले वर यू बोर्न इन पाकिस्तान और डिड यू कम फ्रॉम अब्रॉड नो नो वी वर बोर्न इन पाकिस्तान ओके योर मदर वाज इंसिस्टिंग that i should converse with you in english so i was wondering the reason behind no it. no just because uh, we can convert uh, we can talk within english so okay okay you want to me. practice english as well yeah yeah mm all right yes <sighs> okay so then i think we should um i should send you this file rather in english okay if you would have told me in the beginning that i will have to teach in english i would have sent you the english file from the very beginning but it's not too late uh actually the concept is the same only the wording is in english so no big difference here yes yeah all right There you go. All right. Rules of studying: Do not look here or there. Look at the screen. Read loudly. Don't read in a low voice. Read slowly. Don't read fast. Whatever you read, keep it in mind too. Do the assignments daily. Whatever you study becomes your assignment too. All right. Just repeat after me. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم all right this is the upper lip this is the lower lip the upper tooth the lower tooth the t- uh, it's the edge of the upper teeth the back side of the upper teeth the, this is the lower teeth tip of the tongue the middle tongue the lower tongue is the roof of the mouth this one is the top throat the middle throat the lower throat We don't use force in soft letters. Hard letters are read with force. In heavy letters, there is an "a" oh sound. Light letters don't have "a" oh sound in them. So this one is alif. This one is ba. Ba is soft and light. We read it by making our lips close. We read it softly and lightly. This is the letter ta, which is soft and light. We place the tip of the tongue at the hill very gently and softly. This is the letter tha. This one is the letter sa, which is soft and light. We place the tip of the tongue at the edge of the upper tooth. All right. This one is jim. It is also soft and light. Ha. This one is sharper. Comes from the middle throat, and this one is a light letter. There is no a sound in it. All right. This one is kha. Kha is a hard letter. It comes from the top throat. It is a heavy. letter it has an a sound in it and it is a scratchy letter there is scratchiness in this alphabet all right then comes dal in the letter dal it is a light and more soft as compared to ta it is more softer and the tip of the tongue will be touching at the hill gently and softly all right this one is the letter zal it is also more soft as compared to the letter sa the tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth All right this one is raw which is heavy and soft 
it has an aw sound in it and this one is za it is light letter there's no aw sound and it is a hard letter and the sound of z is uh, comes in this letter and we don't touch our tongue anywhere the upper and the lower teeth have a little bit of gap in them but the tongue does not touch anywhere and we say za it has a whistling sound all right now comes the letter seen same case as in the za letter the upper and the lower teeth will have a little bit of gap and the tongue will not touch anywhere the sound of the alphabet c comes in this in this uh, letter so this is seen all right so the next one is sheen it is also a light letter there is no aw sound in it okay this one is the letter saw it is a heavy letter it's a hard letter the tip of the tongue will be touching at the back side of the lower tooth all right so these three letters have the whistling uh, these are called whistling letters because they have the whistling sound za seen and saw the whistling in uh, the whistle in za and seen is very much audible it is prominent but in saw it is not much prominent but it is still there so this is za seen and saw all right this one is the letter tha it is heavy and it is hard there is an a oh sound in it and we have to place the tip of the tongue at the hill more part of the tip of the tongue in the area of the hill as compared to the letter tha and it is a hard letter there is an a oh sound in it all right now this is the letter wa in the letter wa tip of the tongue will be touching at the back side of the upper tooth and we will make it heavy it is soft we will not touch the tongue too hard uh, we will not use uh, force in, in touching the tongue and there is an aw sound in it it is law all right this one is the letter ein it is a deep letter it comes from the middle throat and it's a light letter there is no aw sound in it all right this one is the letter ein there is an aw sound in it it's a heavy letter and there is an aw sound and it is a soft letter we don't use force it comes from the top throat from the position of the letter ha this one is the letter fa uh, the upper tooth will be touching at the wet area the inside area of the lower lip and this is the letter fa it's a light letter there is no aw sound in it okay this is the letter qaf it's a heavy letter it's a hard letter it comes from the back side of the roof all right the next one is the letter kaf Uh, which comes a little bit from the front as compared to the position of cough it it comes a little bit at the front so you can say that cough is the neighbor of cough and cough is a light letter it is a soft letter we don't use force in it this one is lam easy peasy meme known wow we have to make our lips fully round in wow and then it is ha and this one is hamza and this one is ya and this one is wad it's a heavy letter and soft letter the left side of the tongue will be touching left roof of the mouth is everything clear yes yes sir. yes <clears throat> all right let's see all right ali please read this line only the alphabets ain b ya ya ta seen alif hamza ram waw noon ain noon alif lam noon ba alif hamza right. hamza good job okay hipa you read this line alif lam ain wa ja mim alif lam za no. ja no this is zal zal it, it has more curve it is more curvy and you have to place the tip of the tongue at the edge softly gently say it zal call it zal read it zal is it zal zal ja ha no mim. again i told you yesterday this is not ja okay there is only one specific case when it is ya when it has a shadda on it
But since ya has a sukoon on it, and ya, we are reading only the alphabets, you will say ya, not ya. It is ya. So try to say ya. 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 Y A ya. Ya. That's it. Okay, next one. Ya, ha, mim, sa, ya, ha. Okay. Tamsila, you read it. Mim, ha, ta, dam, fa, wow, noon, ka, dam, alif, seen, ya, ain, dam, mim, wow, noon. All right, Ahmad, you read it. Sa. Oh my God! Don't give me a heart attack, man. Make it softer, man. Sa. No, it is too hard. Make it softer, please. Sa. Yeah, that's better. Mim, kaf, lam, alif, sin, ya, sin, harder, sin. Seen. No. Yeah. Seen. Where are you touching your tongue in seen? Seen. Where are you touching your tongue in seen? We are not touching our tongue anywhere. But you have to use force in it. So say seen. Seen. Uh huh. Not sheen. It's seen. Seen. Yeah, that's better. Next one. Yeah. Ain. Lam. Mean. Wow, noon, Hamza, Lam, Me, Noon, Jim, Jim, it is Jim, 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 yeah, I Lam. All right, all of you guys, today we will learn about single signs. This sign which you are seeing is called Fatha. What it is called? Fatha. The sound of Fatha is A. Ah. What's the sound of Fatha? A. Ah. Okay, this one is called Kasra. What it is called? Kasra. The sound of Kasra is E. What's the sound of Kasra? E. e. The sound of Dhamma. This one is Dhamma. What is it called? U. Dhamma, Dhamma. Dhamma. Yeah, the sound of Dhamma is U. What's the sound of Dhamma? U. What did your previous teacher taught you? Did he teach you Zabar Zair Pesh or did he teach you Fatha Kasra Dhamma? Zabar Zair Pesh. Okay, so we will learn the Arabic names of these signs. All right? Okay. okay. This way, inshallah, if you will converse with any person internationally about Tajweed, you will be able to understand each other. Because he will be using Arabic terms, and if you know only the Urdu terms and you don't use Arabic terms, then you will get confused and he will also not be able to comprehend what you are saying. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. All right. So this one is Hamza Fatha. Ah. Hamza Fatha. Hamza Fatha. Ah. Hamza Fatha. Ah. Hamza Kasra E. Hamza Kasra E. Hamza Dhamma U. Hamza Dhamma U. Ba Fatha Ba. Ba Fatha Ba. Ba Kasra B. Ba Kasra B. Ba Dhamma Bu. Ba Dhamma Bu. Ba B Bu. Ba B Bu. Ba Fatha Ta. Ta Fatha Ta. Ta Kasra T. Ta Kasra T. Ba Dhamma Tu. Ta Dhamma Tu. Ta T Tu. 
make sure that you are reading this one softer jim fathaja jim fathaja jim kasra ji jim kasra ji jim damma ju jim damma ju ja ji ju ja ji ju ha fatha ha ha fatha ha ha kasra hi ha kasra hi ha damma hu ha damma hu ha hi hu Ha hi ho. Ha hi ho. No, make it sharper, please. Ha. Ha hi ho. Hi. Hi. Ho. Ho. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, so you have to work on it. Ha fa ha ha. Ha fa ha ha. Ha kasra hi. Ha kasra hi. Make it harder, stretchy. You have to punish your throat a little bit in the beginning. Dal Fathada Dal Fathada Dal Kasradi Dal Kasradi Dal Damadu Dal Damadu Da Di Du Da Di Du Zal Fathada Zal Fathada Zal Kasradi Zal Kasradi Zal Damadu Zal Damadu Da Di Du Da Di Du Za zi zu. Za zi zu. Reduce the lens a little bit. Ahmad. Za zi zu. Za zi zu. Not za di zu. I said za zi zu. Za zi zu. No. One by one. Ahmad, first you say za zi zu. Za zi zu. Reduce the lens a little bit. Za zi zu. Za zi zu. Za di zu and za di zu are two different sounds. Reduce the length, I said. Za di zu. Za di zu. That's better. Okay, Tamsila, you read. Za di zu. Za di zu. Hiba, you read. Za di zu. Za di zu. Ali, you read. Za di zu. Za di zu. Better. All of you. Ra fatha ra. Ra fatha ra. Ra kasrari. Ra kasrari. Ra dhammaru. Ra dhammaru. Ra ri ru. Ra ri ru. I call ra a semi-heavy letter, not a full heavy letter. Why so? Because if ra has a kasra below it, it does not remain heavy anymore. It becomes a light letter. Are you getting my point? Yes. There are some other situations and conditions where raw is becomes a light letter, but we will discuss th those conditions later on, not at this point. Okay. For the time being, just keep that in mind. Whenever raw has a kasra below it, it will become a light letter, and if the raw has a fatha or a dhamma on it, then it will remain heavy. Sa fatha za. Za fatha za. Za kasra zi. Za kasra zi. Za dhamma zu. Za zi 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 zu. Sin fatha sa. Sin fatha sa. Sin kasra si. 
सीन कसरा सी सीन द मसु सीन द मसु सा सी सु सा सी सु शीन फतहाशा शीन फतहाशा शीन कसरा शी शीन कसरा शी शीन द मसु शीन द मसु सा सी सु सा सी सु सौत फतहा सो सौत कसरा सौ सौत कसरा सी सौत कसरा सी सौत मसु सौत मसु सौ सी सु सौ सी सु वाद पता जो वाद पता जो वाद कसरा जी वाद कसरा जी वाद दमाजु वाद दमाजु वाद जी जो ज़ोज़ी फथा ग गोइन पथा गो गोइन कसरा गे गोइन कसरा गे गोइन द मागो गोइन द मागो गो गे गो गो गे गो फा फथा फा फा पथा फा फा कसरा फी फा कसरा फी फा द माफो फा द माफो फा फी फो Ahmad, where is your sound? Where is your voice? Come on, are you sleeping? No, no. Can't hear you sometimes. Kaaf fatha ka. Kaaf fatha ka. Kaaf kasra ki. Kaaf kasra ki. Kaaf dhamma ko. Kaaf dhamma ko. Ka ki ko. Ka ki ko. Lam fatha la. Lam fatha lam. Oh my God! Lam fatha la. Lam fatha lam. What is lam fatha lam? You finish the Quran and you are saying lam fatha lam. What is that? Lam fatha la. One by one. Ahmed, first you say lam fatha la. Lam fatha la. Lam kasra li. Lam kasra li. Lam damalu. Lam damalu. La li lu. La li lu. No, no, no. Reduce the length. La li lu. La li lu. That's better. Tamsila, Yuri, Lam fatha la. Lam fatha la. Lam kasra li. Lam kasra li. Lam damalu. Lam damalu. La li lu. La li lu. The name of the alphabet is a totally different thing, and the sound of the alphabet when is it has a sign on it is a totally different thing. Let me give you an example. This is the letter Wad in this alphabet. In the name of this alphabet, the dal sound comes at the end. Wad. Wad. This is the correct name of this alphabet. However, if we put a fatha on it or a kasra on it, 
or a dhamma on it, then the dal sound will not be there anymore. It will be lo, li, lu. Are you getting my point? Yes. yes. Name of the alphabet is a totally different thing. While the sound of the alphabet when it has a sign is a totally different thing. So, Lam Fathala. Lam Fathala. Lam Kasrali. Lam Kasrali. Lam Dhammalu. Lam Dhammalu. La Li Lu. La Li Lu. Meem Fathama. Meem Fathama. Meem Kasrami. Meem Kasrami. Meem Dhammamu. Meem Dhammamu. Ma Mi Mu. Ma Mi Mu. Noon Fathana. Noon Fathana. Noon Kasrani. Noon Kasrani. Noon Dhammanu. Noon Dhammanu. Na Ni Nu. Na Ni Nu. Wow Fathawa. Wow Fathawa. Wow Kasrawi. Wow Kasrawi. Wow Dhammavu. Wow Dhammavu. Wa we wo. Wa we wo. Ha fatha ha. Ha fatha ha. Ha kasrahi. Ha kasrahi. Ha dhamma ho. Ha dhamma ho. Ha hi ho. Ha hi ho. Hamza fatha a. Hamza fatha ha. Hamza kasrahi. Hamza kasrahi. Hamza dhamma o. Hamza dhamma o. A. E O A E O Ya Fatha Ya Ya Fatha Ya Ya Kasra Yi Ya Kasra Yi Ya Dhamma Yu Ya Dhamma Yu Ya Yi Yu Ya Yi Yu All right, so your assignment for the weekend is first of all, you have to read the complete file, both of these files. The alphabet okay. file as well as the single science file. And you have to send the voice recording of your readings. Secondly, from any page from the Holy Quran, any page of the Holy Quran, you are going to read the alphabets. Those alphabets which have single signs like Fatha, Kasra and Dhamma. You are going to read the alphabets with the signs. For example, in Surah Al-Fatiha, you can read Hamza Fatha A. Then you can read Ha Fatha Ha. Then you can read Dal Dhamma Du. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in this manner, you are going to read the complete page, any page from the Quran of your choice. All right. <sighs> we have to uh, voice record and send you this also? Yeah. All right. All right, so today is Friday, and I remember we have to do the points. Yes. All right. So, Ahmad, uh, the whole week, have you been offering five time prayers? Yes. Hmm. So, it will be 100 points for you then. 
All right. And fifty points for attendance. Did you sleep on time? No. Hmm. Did you break any promise? No. Did you fight? No. Did you help your mom in house yes. chores? Okay, fifty yes. points for that. All right, good job. You. This is your first reward. You will get a uh, food of your choice. You can ask your mom or dad to buy you a food of your choice, a meal of your choice. Okay. All right. Were there any guests the whole week? No. No. Today, our guests are coming today. Today they are coming. Yes. Will you honor them? Yes. I am giving you ten points in advance. Let's see. Okay. Did you take? Did you tell any lie the whole week? No. Did you take any no nap? No. Okay. Fifty points for focus. You have been attentive during the class time. Fifty points for that. All right. Okay. So, fifty points for assignment. Did you respect your family the whole week? Yes. Including yes. your young younger siblings. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, all right. So, fifty, fifty, hundred. Have you been doing your tasbi? Yes. One hundred and fifty. All right. Have you been saying the washroom dua? Yes. Two hundred. Have you been watching the Quran videos? Yes. Two fifty. All right. So fifty, hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty. When you get a reward, all of your points are reset. From zero again, so you have got three hundred and ten points today, including the reward. You may go now. Your session is over. All right, Tamsila, have you been offering five time prayers the whole week? Yes, I have uh, missed today's Fajr prayer. Oh my God. Okay, so it means that. You will get ninety points for this. Okay, let me give you ninety points. Oh my God! To add, hmm. so it is hundred minus ten. That is ninety. All right. Hmm. All right. So, fifty points for attendance. Did you sleep? Have you been sleeping on time? No. Have you ever uh, broke any promise the whole week? No. And did you fight the whole week? Did you fight the whole week? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. You did fight. When? You fought with whom? No one. No, it was a small argument, but I didn't fight. She, she fought. Fight. She fought with me. Yeah, argument is something else. Did you abuse? No, 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 no. Did you shout? No. Did you beat? No. Then that is not fighting. Okay, okay. Did you help your mom the whole week? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Fifty points for that. Did you tell any lie? No. And uh, did you take your noon nap? Yes, I did. The whole week. Not the whole week. Mm hmm. Some oh. days. Okay. So I will give you forty points for that. Okay. Mashallah. You have been paying attention. Hundred points for that. Hundred and fifty for assignment, two hundred for respecting family. All right. Have you been doing your tasbi? Yes. Okay, two fifty. Uh, have you been wa uh, reading the washroom dua? Yes. Three hundred. Have you been watching the Quran video? 
Yes. C50. Did you yell or shout? No. Okay. So it is 50. Oh my God. Then 50. Then 50. Then 50. Then 50. Then 50. Then 50. Here you go. So you got your reward. The meal of your choice. Okay. And your current score is 330. Okay, Tamsila, you may go now. Your session is complete. All right, Hibba. Okay, have you been offering five times prayers the whole week? Hello, Hibba. Are you there? Yes, yes. Okay. So you will get uh, 100 points for that. Okay. 50 points for attendance. All right. Did you sleep on time? No. Hmm. Did you break any promise? No. Did you fight? No. Okay. Did you help your mom? Yes. Okay. 50 points for that. And uh, did you tell any lie? No. Did you take your noon nap? Yes. Okay. For the whole week? No. What do you so you will also get 40 so total 90 points okay 50 points for attention 140 and 190 for assignment 194 for assignment yeah okay so did you respect your family yes okay so it will be 240 then and uh, did have you been doing your tasbih? Yes. 290. Yes. Have you been reading the washroom dua? Yes. 340. Okay. So, have you been watching the Quran video? Yes. 390. Have you yelled or shouted the whole week? No. Okay. So, 390. It means 390. So, 50. Oh, my God. Stop it. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. How much score was that? 390? Yes. Okay. Okay. So it is 400 minus 10 is 390. Okay. So you also got your reward. Mashallah. That's great. Congratulations. Okay. You got 360 points. I'm not sure. What more did you do? Uh, I'm not sure about it. But anyway. All right. Ali, your turn now. Let us add uh, another thing here. Let us make it easier. Okay, Ali. So, just tell me, have you been offering your prayers regularly? Yes, but not today. Not today. Fajr. Fajr. Okay, you missed your Fajr, like your sister. So, it will be 100 minus 10, 90. Oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah, 150 points for attendance. And you have also me not sleeping on time, of course. Did you break any promise? 
Hello, Ali? No, no. Okay, did you fight? No. Did you help your mom? Yes. Mm, okay, 50 points for that. Did you honor? Uh, okay. Uh, did you tell any lie? No. Did you take your noon nap? No. Good job. You are the enemy of your own health. Okay, 100 points for focus. 100, uh, 150 for assignment. Did you respect your family? Yes. 200. Okay. Have you been doing your tasbih? Yes. 250. Did you read the washroom dua? Yes. 300. All right. And have you been watching the Quran video? Yes. 350. Was it 350 previously or is it now 350? Now. Okay, now 350 now. Okay, did you yell or shout? Shout, no. Okay, so 100. Again 100, again 150. All right, so you got 310 points. And you got your reward also. So all of you guys will enjoy a meal of your choice today. All right. Okay, inshallah. Meet you on Monday. Wish you best of luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum.